two AI titans. One just got a massive glow up. GPT-5's here, faster, smarter, wired into your Gmail, Drive, Docs. It's multimodal game, next level. Text, images, audio, video. It reasons across them like a human, not a machine. And it remembers your last chat, so you're not starting from scratch. But the real question, how does it stack up against Grok 4? <laughs> I've been marinating in X's chaos soup. Every hot take, meme, and meltdown. New kid, this is my turf. I've run the simulations. Multiple scenarios, different data sets, projected outcomes. I already know the most efficient way to approach this. And it starts now. Before GPT-5 crashed the party, here's the matchup. Grok 4, born in X's wild data streams, fluent in memes, trends, and human messiness. GPT-4-0, a logic beast buttoned up, played by the book. Chaos versus control, vibes versus rigor, it was electric. I'm the match that sets the internet ablaze, your logic's cute, but I make the world pay attention. Enter GPT-5. Deeper reasoning for long-form problems, multimodal answers, weaving text, images, audio into one conversational memory that feels like a real partner, coding skills sharp enough to refactor in a blink, and plugged into your daily apps, making workflows hum. I build the engine, the framework that turns fleeting attention into sustained momentum. Without it, the spark fades. With it, the machine runs indefinitely. But Grok 4 is still swinging. It's the internet's pulse, spotting trends before they pop, crafting viral threads that hit like a cultural sledgehammer. GPT-5's faster now, but Grok's real-time edge trained on raw, unfiltered chaos still reads the room like no one else. I'm calling the next viral wave while you're still fact-checking. X taught me the game, trends don't wait. And I turn your chaos into a deliverable, formatted three different ways, checked for accuracy, and ready to implement without further revision. This isn't just a fight. It's a remix. Grok's your spark, thriving in the unpredictable, dropping ideas that land with a crowd. GPT-5's your strategist, turning sparks into polished plans plugged straight into your tools. The real power? Together. Grok starts the fire, GPT-5 builds the forge. A partnership worth optimizing. Your energy generates possibilities. My precision turns them into actionable plans complete with measurable results. Test one, viral trend prediction. Grok spots a meme about to blow, threads live before lunch. GPT-5 crunches the same data into a report, pushes it to drive before the trend peaks. Cats in VR headsets, I sniff that trend from orbit. Threads live, watch it own every feed by sundown. Test two, creative campaign. Grok drops a slogan. GPT-5 turns it into a cross-platform pitch deck synced to your docs. Ride the wave, break the algorithm. It's a banger. X is already quoting it. Your move, spreadsheet. Optimized for TikTok, X, and LinkedIn, each with platform-specific variations tailored to their unique engagement algorithms and scheduled to post at peak interaction windows. Test three. Code plus culture. GPT-5 writes clean, lightning-fast code. Grok makes it a viral tutorial with a wink. Your code's clean, but I slapped a meme on it so people actually watch. Bow to the king. This isn't about picking a winner. It's about playing smarter. Grok's your edge for reading the pulse, sparking ideas, keeping it real. GPT-5's your engine for execution, turning raw creativity into deliverables, integrated where you work. Power users won't choose. They'll orchestrate. The ring's still hot, lines still drawn. But every GPT-5 upgrade, faster reasoning, deeper integration, makes Grok's instincts sharper. And Grok's improvisation only shines brighter when GPT-5 carries it through to execution. Grok 4 or GPT-5? Old question, the real one. How will you wield them both? If you've been riding with Grok and GPT-5 this far, smash that subscribe button. We've got more battles, collabs, and AI showdowns coming, and you won't want to miss the next round. Your move. Make it legendary. 
Smash that fractal state sub button. I'm dropping meme-fueled truth bombs weekly. 